The city welcomed 70,000 people for a parade in 1969 when Wapakoneta's very own Neil Armstrong came home after being the first man on the moon. I don't know what the odds are to have Neil Armstrong first to the moon and then have the moon cover the sun and be in totality. Um, I don't know, God's probably looking down and, and shining on us uh, to have this event here in my hometown. The mayor and the rest of the town has been preparing for the eclipse for the past two years. The Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum has events beginning Thursday and lasting through the big event on Monday, cloudy or not. At 3.09 p.m. and 31 seconds, uh, it will get dark. Uh, and, you know, we're still going to have the museum is open still. So um, if people still want to celebrate space, this is actually a fantastic place to go. And then the total eclipse is a double dark chocolate with white chocolate chips. Restaurants are ready with special menus designed for the eclipse. Well, almost ready. Everything is made here. The ice cream, the waffle cones, the sandwiches. Yes. So are you guys working 24 seven to prepare for this? I am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Retail stores have their windows decked out. Rhinestone lip gloss made special eclipse earrings for the occasion. And I looked at my team and I said, I hope you eat your Wheaties because we're going to have some long nights here. So we have been building frantically. Upstairs, the owner has four Airbnb apartments rented out way in advance. As soon as we made them live on the Airbnb website, it was within probably two weeks, everything was booked solid and not not just for the day. I mean, there are folks coming a day or two early, obviously staying for the eclipse and then staying a day or two late. For those who live in Wapakoneta, they are prepared. I'm gonna sit right in my own backyard, stay put. <laughs> the signage is ready, the store owners are ready, the restaurants are ready. Wapakoneta is ready for this total solar eclipse. And if Neil were still around, he'd be ready to give you a high five when you arrive. In Wapakoneta, this is David Winter reporting. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.